Dear student teachers, let me welcome you all to the course Knowledge and Curriculum. We are now in the fifth unit Curriculum Practices and in the fourth module where we are going to talk about the outcomes of curriculum evaluation. This is Dr. V. Girija, Professor and Head, School of Education, Bayes Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Chennai. Outcomes of Curriculum Evaluation Evaluation is the process of determining the values of something or the extent to which goals are being achieved. The out of outcomes of our evaluation provides process information that are collected through assessments, provides reasoning process based on influence, provides judgment we make about assessment of students' learning, and provides information of teaching and learning procedures, provides direction to the administrator and policy, provides direction to the teaching executors for orientation of the next instruction activities. Curriculum evaluation in our country mainly includes the following aspects. The demand evaluation before curriculum reform, the pre-evaluation and revised evaluation on curriculum standards and the profound evaluation on teaching materials and the evaluation on curriculum implementation. Curricular issues and concerns. Issues in the varied implementation of the curriculum among schools and teachers seem to be one of the reasons for the prevailing low performance of schools all over the country. Issues like ill-prepared teachers, poor attitude towards change and low moral have been thrown to teachers. Leadership support from principal is also a mention. All of these factors are support to an effective implementation of the curriculum. Curricular innovations lack the sense of ownership from the stakeholders. Most of the curricular innovations are handed down from the top management. Those who are going to implement simply to the line and fall or followed blindly. Sometimes the implementers lack full understanding of the changes or modifications that they are doing. The goal is unclear, thus there are lots of questions in the implementations as well as evaluation from the concerned persons. Some curricular innovations are results of bandwagon but are not well supported by managers. In the desire of some school to be part of the global education scenario, changes and innovations are drastically implemented even if the school is not ready. Lack of regular monitoring and evaluation. After a new curriculum has been installed, it is left unattended. Inadequate monitoring of activities to find out the curricular strengths or weaknesses and problems are being encountered. Innovation results to teacher burnout. With so many changes taking place in the curriculum, many teachers are getting burnout. They get tired so easily and motivation is very low. It is so because they cannot cope with rapid changes that take place. Innovations are not communicated to all, only the managers or the proponents under the changes. Those who are directly involved merely who climb the sinker and sinker. This is regimentation. Changes when introduced this way may falter along the way because the people involved are not empowered. Now, responses to these issues. NCF has now the full support of the State Department of Education for implementation. Hopefully, all of these initiatives will contribute to the high achievement and performance among the learners so that they will be at par with their counterparts in the neighboring countries. In the installation of the new curriculum or innovation, all stakeholders should be involved. Even in the planning stage, consultation should be held. This process will provide each interested sector or persons to help make decisions as to whether the more innovation will be introduced or not. This participatory process provides a sense of ownership for all stakeholders. In so doing, each one will make sure that the result of the innovation will be positive. Before any change will be introduced, a thorough study should be made to establish readiness for all concerned and initial preparation for the implementation to ensure the provision of the necessary materials and the appropriate knowledge about the innovation should be assured. Changing for the sake of change is useless. 
or even irrelevant if the innovation is not well studied. Committees should be informed to address its space of curriculum installation, implementation and evaluation. In the case of school-based innovations in curriculum innovation, principals have been empowered to conduct monitoring and new curricular programs. This, part of, this is part of the curricular leadership roles. Curricular experts and practitioners agree that monitoring will enhance efficiency and development and keep teachers on track and maintain school leaders' involvement in the curriculum. Collaboration and the implementation of the new curriculum are very necessary and school heads or managers, teachers and learners should have adequate information about the innovation before it will be introduced. There is a continuous communication of the different aspect of innovation. If these are done, there will always be assurance of success. The objectives of curriculum evaluation are listed below. To determine the outcomes of the program, to help in designing whether to accept or reject a program, to ascertain the need for revision of the course content, to help in future development of the curriculum material for continuous improvement and to improve methods of teaching and instructional techniques. The perspectives of curriculum and evaluation are traditional, experimental, behavioral and structure of behavior and constructivist. The following are the sum of the responses to issues in curriculum evaluation. The National Curriculum Framework NCF has to give the full support of the state government, state department of education for its implementation. In the installation of the new curriculum or innovation, all stakeholders should be involved. Even in the planning stage, consultation should be held. Before any change will be introduced, a thorough study should be made to establish readiness for all concerned. Initial preparation for the implementation to ensure the provision of the necessary materials and the appropriate knowledge about the innovation should be assured. In the case of the school-based innovations in curriculum innovation, principals have been empowered to conduct monitoring and new curricular programs. Collaboration and the implementation of the new curriculum are very necessary. The school heads or managers, teachers and learners should have adequate information about innovation before it will be introduced. And that is a continuous communication of different aspects of the innovation. Thank you all for your patience listening on, on completing all the modules of the fifth unit as well as with this we are uh, winding up with the course knowledge and curriculum. Thank you all.